I'm an only child and my dad and I are super close. So when we were like deciding on like what dances we were gonna do, we were like, there's no way that we can do just like a slow song because we're just gonna like cry the entire time. So I thought about it, I said, you know what? Let's try doing something different other than the old uh, daddy's little girl dance. So he picked two songs and I picked two songs and then we had our DJ like mash it up together. So we practiced for probably like eight or nine months. We got, it got to be that day. And we said, are you sure you want to do this? And then we just went with it and it was, it was perfect. I have no moves. You know, th this is the move I have. I had the YMCA. She came up with all of them. I just love my dad so much. He's like one of the first people I call when I get good news, bad news, when I'm like having a rough day. We are really very tight. I don't know if it's because she's, she's an only child, but I had a lot of time to focus just on her. He's just like the most caring person. He's always been so supportive. I've often heard you can't be a friend, you need to be a parent. But I think you can be both. We're going on vacation. You know, we, we go out to dinner. We, you know, we go places, we go to movies. It's She is both a friend and, you know, a daughter. Kind of corny, but that's, you know, that's our relationship. It's heartbreaking to see some of the comments of, you know, people wishing that they had this experience with their dad or things like that. So I think people could take away one thing. It would just to be like really cherish those special and close relationships you have in your life and just try to make memories while you can because I was gonna back out on the dance a couple times when we were practicing. So now I'm so glad I did it just so we can have that memory together.